How's it going, guys? And welcome back for a brand new series here on the Archon Network. Today is the release of the new Onyx season. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally play a new season of Onyx. There's been some minor changes to the Onyx room on here. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out the website down below. There should be a change log. But anyways, guys, the server releases in about 4 minutes and 7 seconds. So while we wait, make sure you comment down below, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get a notification every single time that I upload. But without much more talking, let me go ahead and switch to whenever the server is released. Alright guys, it looks like the Onyx Room is just released and it's already full. There's actually 140 more people on than the max amount of people. Look how many people is here. Now you might be wondering why I'm kind of relaxing right now. And that's because we have so many people running to corners that my group is going to set up a cane farm. So I can kind of just chill right here and make sure that I got all my kits and make sure I put on some armor and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chill out and uh, get some gear on and yeah, pretty much get ready so i'll see you guys as soon as we start on the cane farm all right guys here we go as you can probably hear in the background we got a ton of people ready to make the cane farm i'm pretty sure this right here is just some random place i don't think we're allowed to actually start genning or sorry printing in the cane farm before someone has laid out where we exactly are gonna have it it looks like uh, ultra phoenix is doing that right now so i'm gonna go ahead and wait another two minutes until we are allowed to print in the cane farm so give me like two seconds here, guys, and I'll see you as soon as everything is laid out. Alright guys, here we go. We got the courts for the cane farm. It looks like we're doing some kind of a- Oh god, what happened? Oh, we got an enemy here, and that's interesting. Maybe he could like join the faction or something. But anyways, we got this lined up right now. As you can see, we're actually doing line by line canes, which in some situation is a little bit better, especially if we have it very, very long. And uh, yeah, this right here is actually pretty damn long. So finally, we can get started on making money. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and have a nice, neat little time lapse of us printing K. Alright guys, just a small update. We actually got the first layer of sugarcane already in place. But as you can see, it took a big chunk out of my money. So I think it's about time that I do all my kits. Now I've been playing Onyx for quite a while. And that of course means that I've unlocked quite a lot of ranks or kits as well. And some of those ranks actually include blocks of gold, diamonds and emeralds and stuff like that. That I can sell to get a head start on the money count right from the start. So what I'm going to do right now is pretty much do all my kits and sort them out of what I need and what I don't need. Put what I don't need into a chest and there we go. So without further ado guys, let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I made 1.6 million dollars by selling everything I had in my kits and of course the rest is just pretty much given away to the rest of the faction. I do see a few people with more diamond armor, that is perfect. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and continue printing in the cane farm. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an option update soon but yeah let's go ahead and speed this up and uh, yeah get some cane Alright guys, it's been about 15 minutes since the last clip and look how much we've actually already done. We do have a ton of people actually making layers, but we don't have too many people breaking the ice. So what I think I'm gonna do right now is actually breaking the ice instead so we can start printing in some cane. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and do the boring work and uh, yeah, just break some ice. Oh
Alright guys, just an update, it's been about 2 hours since the release of this new faction realm. And oh my, have we done a lot of progress. Look at all of this right here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 layers of sugarcane. And also, these sugarcanes right here is like extremely long, that's what she said. It's probably like about 20, 30-ish chunks long. So I assume that one full line of this is enough to fill out your entire inventory. An absolute massive farm and a pretty good progress, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take a break with the sugarcane farm and just kind of start harvesting and get my herbalism up. And I'm pretty sure we don't really need that many more layer than this, but I've been at work for two hours now doing the cane farm. Let's go ahead and uh, try to get a harvester hoe and just pretty much get some action. Now, if you do slash pass and you take number three book from the start, you can see that if you just vote one single time, you get a regular a harvester hoe and that is absolutely huge guys so you don't even have to pay real money to get a harvester hoe on here you pretty much just do slice pass vote one time and boom you just got yourself a harvester hoe on top of that if you need some armor you can place 1000 blue wool and you can get the grins kit and a bunny kit however if you only have the free pass you can only get the grins kit but that set is also pretty damn good something that you can also do is place 2000 cobblestone and get a stacker one that is going to be very useful whenever we start getting and stuff like that but for right now let's go ahead and vote one time and uh, yeah just get a harvest to her and there we go guys as you can see down in the chat challenge complete premium regular harvest to her and of course i have premium as well so i get two harvest to her so let's do slash pass right now go in here and there we go boom that right there is two harvest to hoes we don't need to maybe i got access to a vote so i can yep there we go put one in there and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and get started i'm probably gonna do this until something a little bit more interesting is going on so i'm just gonna go ahead and switch to something else and in the meantime of course do some cane all right guys it's been about half an hour since the last clip i did a little bit of cane i haven't really upgraded my harvester hoe because i'm kind of looking for an auto harvester hoe but anyways since it's been a time since the last clip let's go ahead and have a look at all our f warps at the moment we only got one which is the trap i'm not really sure where the f home actually is and i don't even know if we got a corner yet i guess i'm so used to actually getting a corner every single episode or so we serious that i'm kind of forgetting about it. it's actually pretty important it doesn't really look like we have a warp there let me go ahead and jump into the car with the faction and figure out if we got a corner or not so give me like two seconds here guys and i'll be right back all right guys i got a tp to our base at the moment if you take a look at the cards it looks like this right here is actually the corner as well it doesn't really seem like we started trenching or anything oh this is definitely a corner oh yeah look at that so we apparently got a nether corner it looks like we actually finished off the main box right here and of course a little bit of the tray i don't think we're gonna trench today but it does seem like we might be doing the tray today i'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna do i'm pretty sure just printed this in so you could get the main base i don't think we're actually gonna do the trade at least not today but let's gonna take a look inside the base and see if we got anything all right so this right here is just a box it doesn't really seem like we have anything in here no it doesn't look like it i'm pretty sure we're gonna move all our spawners and stuff like that inside of this and down here we have well nothing all right so the only thing we got right now is this box right here taking a look at f top and i know we can't really calculate that right now since the server just released oh, okay they haven't even okay so we do have a lot of potential value okay so how much do we have we do not have any okay well that's that's weird oh we actually down here we got a potential value of 8.2 million and f top one or on f top one page okay we're far far behind it looks like polito's already have blaze spawners and stuff like that and uh yeah well we don't have any of it we have 41 blazes that's pretty much it no idea what those are but i assume this box right here is going to be used for all the main spawners as soon as we start buying those i'm pretty sure we're still getting our claims and everything in order so it's not going to be right now that we're going to buy spawners play spawners or whatever but i'm curious where do we have all our blaze spawner i mean we have 41 blazes so i assume they must be placed somewhere and i mean if it's not inside the main box Base, it has to be inside this sugarcane farm but this right here is crazy look at my fps right now i'm at about 30 ish fps and uh yeah that's kind of like insane not really sure why i'm lacking this bad i mean i got an absolutely beast pc 
yet I'm getting 32 FPS. Kind of strange, not gonna lie. But all right, I can't really find the places. No idea where they are, guys. But anyways, this right here was an update on everything. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Hidden Cane. And I guess I'll see you guys when something a little bit more interesting is going on. What are we doing right here? Are we making a ref layer? Why are we making a ref layer? No idea what these guys are doing up here. I guess we'll figure that out. But for right now, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit some cane. And I guess I'll switch to something a little bit more interesting than pretty much just doing cane. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let me go ahead and switch right here. And I'll see you guys as soon as something a little bit more interesting is going on. All right, guys, this clip right here is recorded six hours into the new Onyx reel. As you can see, a lot of things have happened with the sugarcane farm, which is pretty damn awesome. On top of that, if we go to the leaderboard, going to the sugarcane broken, you can see that I have the sixth most sugarcane broken on the entire server out of 501 people online. That's something to be proud of, Dexter. Yeah, well, thank you. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and have a quick look at everything that I've done and everything that the faction have done because I'm about to log off, get some sleep, and then get straight back to grinding. However, I'm probably not going to be able to record the next eight hours. So I thought, why not just go ahead and give you guys a tour of everything now? And then the next clip, eight hours have passed and you guys can see all the progress that we made overnight. So let's go ahead and do that. You guys have already seen the sugarcane farm, so that is no biggie. Let's go ahead and go to our blaze grinders. And here we are. So we have multiple grinders. We have one right there. We have one in the middle. And then I'm pretty sure those are the only we have at the moment. If we do wrong, you can see how many spawners we have. This right here is almost filled. The other one right here is half filled. And that is pretty good. Why did you just... But yeah, that is pretty much how everything looks at the moment. We have plenty of blazes. Let's go ahead and go to the main base. And here we have the main base. We filled out this cube right here that I showed you earlier. With some IDs, as you can see. And I'm pretty sure that is just about. It. Maybe we have something in the other corners. I do not know. So let me go ahead and take a look. Looks like we have a little bit in this corner over here. We got a few creepers. And I'm pretty sure that is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I think that we are going all in on the IGs, as you can see right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the F top. We are currently on F top 4 with a potential value of 300 million. Politos has 770. Sea dragons have 398. And turtles have 327. So we should actually be on the third place. I wonder how this is going to look in the morning because we have really been doing a lot of cane and we have so much money saved up. But alright guys, one more thing I want to do before I go to bed, just in case that I get spawners of course, is opening up a monthly crate. So here we are, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy right here and let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get. We are looking for silverfish spawners if possible. Those are the most rarest spawner you can possibly find. So let's go ahead and hope that we get that. Oh god, we got, oh we got creeper spawners. That's actually not that bad. Crystal keys, creeper spawners, MCMO, tax, chunk busters, sense boosters, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We do need the creeper spawners though, so let me go ahead and place those right now. Home, oh okay, god, what was it? Home, uh, home spawner. I didn't get a silverfish though, that is kinda bad. I mean, it's just bad luck, I guess. Silverfish spawners is actually very overpowered in here, so I'm kinda sad that I didn't get that. Let's go ahead and place these creepers just like that, making a little bit of money for us. Let's go ahead and open up the MCMO pouch while we add it. And I'm gonna save the sense boosters and the XP boosters. Oh, actually, I'll open the money pouch. Why not? So we've got 173 credits. I'm gonna put that into MCMMO. And from the money pouch, we've got 1.1 million. Let's do F money deposit. 1 million. There we go, guys. Let's go to an ETS, the rest of it. And that's it, guys. It's currently half three in the morning for me. I'm going to bed right now. I'll see you guys in about eight hours. Good morning, guys. It's been about eight hours since I have been on. And as soon as I looked at Sugarcane Broken, you can see that people have been, well, grinding quite a lot while I've been asleep. But I assume everybody on the cane top right now haven't gotten any sleep yet, which means I can probably make it to the leaderboard once again as soon as these guys go to sleep. Actually, I don't know if these guys are going to sleep. I don't know. But anyways, it's been eight hours. It's time to record the last 
last clip of this episode showing you guys around absolutely everything that we have done the first 24 hours of the release now of course i'm counting the 24 hours into the time it takes to edit as well so taking a look at the cane farm nothing has really happened we added maybe a few layers of sugarcane and that is pretty much it but let's be honest guys this is really not what we're looking at we're going to look at the spawners you can see on the scoreboard right now on the feather board that we're actually f top three now investigating that we have a total of 571 million so we are lacking behind in well a lot of things but all right guys let's go ahead and take a closer look at our spawners give me like two seconds and here we are guys this idea is the amount of ids that we had to be honest i was kind of expecting you know to say it nice a little bit more to be honest and this right here is our quibbles nothing have changed so literally nothing have changed we got a little bit more igs and uh, yeah that's 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 pretty much it now taking a look at our blaze farms i do think that we have done quite a lot in the blaze farm as you can see we've gotten a lot more chests and animals everywhere so we got this one here blazes this one does not have any blazes this one here has a little bit of blazes or tons of blazes and this one over here has a ton of blazes doing f money balance we got 486 million holy moly why are we not buying spawners oh my god i'm gonna grab all the money that the entire faction has right now and just like easy inside <laughs> i love that guys i love that but all right guys i got 486 million I'm gonna buy as many spawners as I possibly can. Iron Golem spawners, boom, right there. You can't afford to fill your inventory. Well, of course I can. In oh, let's try this one more time. So I'm gonna try. Can I buy over a stack? Oh my god. All right, so Iron Golems, one stack. Holy shit, guys. This is insane. What uh, What are this? I mean, holy shit. 246, 246, 248, 244. Iron Golems, boom, there we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy one more. Nope, we can't. So we can almost get two stacks of iron golems <laughs> oh my god this is insane all right so uh yeah i'm not really sure why we haven't bought spawners but i mean we're losing money every time we don't have these spawners up so let me go ahead and place all of these spawners and uh, then let's go ahead and uh, see what our f top looks like so give me like two seconds here guys and uh, yeah let me just go ahead and do this Alright guys, there we go. I placed all the spawners and as you can see, that right there is definitely a big difference. We are going to need another alt to actually AFK all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the guys know that. And also, for some reason, I choose to fuck up so many times. I, I mean, look at this right there. One distance, one distance, one distance, two spawners. I mean, I just woke up, guys. Don't blame me, alright? Just, just, just don't blame me. Alright, taking a look at F-Top now. We got over over 1 billion potential value, which of course skyrockets us to F top 2. Politus is actually above us with 10 IG, so we gotta get into the grind, guys, to make sure that we get on F top 1. But there we go, this is all the progress that we made the first 18 ish hours. But I, I'm gonna have to end the episode right here. We have done a huge amount of work. And keep in mind, this right here is only our first 24 hours. We still have about, if you take a look, we still have about 6 hours into 24 hours. But I am going to need time to edit this as well. But this right here was our first 24 hours episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below, of course. Subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't yet joined your daily dose of Dexter, go ahead and do that right now. Click the bell and get a notification every single time that I upload. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next episode.